This is Richie Renneberg. I um, grew up in Houston, Texas, playing uh, junior tennis. I, when it came time to go to college, I went to Southern Methodist University in Dallas. Uh, that was from 1984 to 1987. I then, um, I left after my junior year. I um, was the number one collegiate player in 1987, and um, I figured that, that was the time to go try the tour, and so I did. Um, I did that for 13 years, played from, um, 87 to 2000 and reached a career high in singles at number 20 in the world. Um, briefly was number one in the world in, in doubles, uh, represented the U.S. in Davis Cup and in the Olympics. I um, won a couple of Grand Slam um, doubles titles, the U.S. Open and the, uh, and the Australian Open. In terms of my college tennis experience, I, um, I thought it was one of the best, in my case, three years of my life. I, um, tennis, as everyone talks about and knows, is an individual sport. And um, apart from uh, Davis Cup, um, I, it, once I reached the, the Pro Tour, uh, there were very few opportunities to play as a team. And, uh, and so I loved college tennis, I loved the team aspect. Um, I felt I also was very fortunate in that my college coach was Dennis Ralston. He was um, a great player himself, a Wimbledon singles finalist. Um, and when I got to, got to college, I basically was a pretty good baseline player, but knew nothing about coming to the net. And he, he really added that part of my game, which I think I wouldn't have had a pro career um, had, I not, uh, had I not worked with Dennis. I, I did win the ITA men's uh, singles title. I believe that was part of my junior year, where as I mentioned, I was the number one collegiate player in the country, even though I didn't win the NCA title, I did win uh, the ITA uh, at, at UCLA. And um, it was, I just remember it being a great week. I mean, uh, UCLA was a fantastic place to play. I was fortunate enough to play there on the pro tour once I, uh, uh, once I was on the tour, there was a, a pro tournament in LA and it was played there and it was a great place to play. I, um, and I remember um, it was it, playing very well and every time you won any tournament um, at, at any level and particularly at that level, uh, it was a real confidence booster and, uh, and helped me to kind of propel my, my college uh, experience. In terms of advice to the rising generation um, of current student athletes, I think just have fun. It's, it's, uh, these are the best four years of your life and um, college tennis or whatever sport, uh, it's, it's just a great, great time. And um, uh, one that you'll, you'll develop lifelong friendships from um, and hopefully uh, you know, perform well at a high level where you're able to, to um, achieve some success. And I think as we all know, sports, one of the tough things about sports is you win some, you lose some. And so you have to be able to bounce back from those losses and having teammates there uh, to support you is, uh, is incredibly important. And so I would say just uh, just enjoy it. The future of college tennis, I, I assume is bright. I'm a little removed from it, but I, um, I college sports in general, I think is just a fantastic uh, um, way for kids to ex express themselves, to get better, to learn. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of pressure, but it's also um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of fun. One of um, my favorite people in the sport of tennis is Wayne Bryan, uh, Bob and Mike's uh, dad. And he wrote a great book that talked about the, how, the benefits and what's so neat about college sports. And uh, it's just the camaraderie, uh, the excitement, the support that the teammates give one another. Um, and I think just recently watching Ben Shelton do so at the Open with so much enthusiasm and watching a little bit of his college career, I think he's, he's kind of a good example of what college tennis is all about.